Hi guys, this Hackerank challenge is called Print the Elements of a Linked List. In the previous video, we looked at how we can add a node at the tail of our linked list. And today we're just going to traverse our linked list and then print every element inside of it. So when we say print the elements of a linked list, of course, you know that a list is made up of nodes and you cannot read the nodes directly. So this means that we need to read the data contained in the nodes. So to clarify this, I'm just going to have a quick refresher. And this is the C version of the code right now. I'm going to be showing you the C++ solution later on in this video. But for now, if you scroll through their section, the code that they've provided, which we cannot modify, they have this struct for every node. So every node is going to have a member variable called data, which is going to be an integer, and also a pointer to another node in the list. It's a singly linked list, so there is no back pointer. In other words, you can only move forward and access the next node in the list. So the list is defined here. This is the struct. We have a head, which is a pointer to a node, and the tail, also a pointer to a node. What we are going to do is simply traverse our list and then print the data contained in the list. So if you look at the instructions here, just like in the previous HackerRank challenge that we covered, they say, if the pointer is null, indicating that the list is empty, don't print anything, meaning that it's possible that the head that we're going to receive in our function, which is called print links list right here, it's possible that the head is going to point to nothing. It's going to be a null pointer, probably, because the list is going to be empty. So that's one condition we need to look into. And that is why the first line of my code here inside my function says, if the head is null, then return. There is no nodes in the list, so we don't need to print anything. So this function is going to stop executing here if our list is empty. Otherwise, it's going to continue, move on to this line, and it's going to create a temporary node pointer that points to the head of the list. So let's say that the head is not null, meaning that it's pointing to a node, which is the first node in our list. So we are going to create a temporary variable called temp. It's going to be a node pointer. And that pointer is going to point to the same node as the head in our list. Once we have that same variable, we can use it to traverse the list. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to have a while loop right here. And then we are going to verify so long as the temp variable is not equal to null, we want to print the integer inside that node. So I had the printf function because this code is written in C right now. And then I have this format specifier here, percentage %d, because I want to print an integer. And the integer that I want to print is the data in the node. So I have temp, the arrow notation, and then data. This arrow notation is necessary because temp is a pointer. It's not an object. Then I also have this next line character because they say that we need to print one element per line. So if you don't add this, all the integers are going to be printed next to each other and you're going to get your solution wrong. So you need to add the next line character here. Once we've printed a node for the data in the node, we want to move our temp variable to the next node. So temp is going to equal the next pointer or the next node in our list. So that's what we're doing here. And that's really it for the solution of this hackerang challenge that is in C. Let's run this code make sure that we pass the test cases. I'm just going to submit it and then I'm going to show you the C++ version, which is very similar. So this C code passes all the test cases. I'm now going to switch in my editor to the C++ language. And again, quick refresher here. They are using a class and we have two public member variables, data and the next pointer, and then we have a constructor to which we can pass the data when we create a node. But anyway, this is our function. It's called print link list. Again, we have a head pointer for the parameter of this function. And we're again checking if there is no head and the list is empty, we simply return. We don't do anything because this is a void function. So we don't need to return anything. We can simply write the keyword return so that this stops executing. And then we create our temporary variable, just like in C. And then we use this while loop to traverse our list. Then we want to print the data or want to print the integer inside the nodes. And for that, I'm using C out. And then I have end line here. So this is going to print the data line by line. And when I'm done, just like in C, I move my temp pointer to the next nodes inside my list. Let's run it. We've passed the two sample test cases, so we can simply submit it. And that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like my solution and you like my videos, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, drop your questions in the comment section, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.